Hello everybody and welcome back to Nuclear Throne Ultra. We are jumping in once again and we are going to be, we're just going to jump in as Crystal. We've got quite a lot of new characters to actually go at. I do intend to get to them eventually, but I think while we're still figuring out the mod, we're going to just play the regular characters. We had a fantastic run in yesterday's episode and actually managed to get a win or kind of get a win. We did actually kill the throne, although it didn't, I don't know if it counted. <laughs> I think we got the unlock for killing, we didn't get the unlock for getting the, the final cutscene though. Which is a shame, because there might even be a new cutscene or some new uh, content past the uh, the throne. I'm not quite sure what these new portals are, by the way. I I did go into one um, earlier in the uh, other episode, so I guess I'm going to try it. Um, Crystal can handle this. Ooh, modify weapon drops. Okay. So we got one of these last time. I think this is the... Uh, bullet modifier so we get a pop rifle and it's got a little icon next to it now now by the looks of it that one was some sort of piercing so i do wonder oh god oh my lord doesn't seem that we've got piercing oh we i should say we got additional health no we're just playing as crystal idiot but this there's some there's some real sauce going on here we got a frost pistol as well oh you can like ice up enemies that's so cool guy needs to stop. Calm down, sir. <laughs> you can, like, freeze enemies. That's so cool. That's so cool. Oh, my God. Right, one moment. Okay, let's continue. I need to show some things to the developer of this mod real quick, but I want to finish the floor first. This is so cool. I wonder if you can get, like, with, with us getting this frost weapon and this being like an icy tundra, is it like specific floors that you get specific weapons on? Like one moment. Right, let's continue. Let's continue. I am loving this. So, I like the fact that we can close it automatically rather than having to destroy it. That's a really cool little feature there. Uh, glass cannon. Ooh, ooh, touch shell. Everything that deals more than one damage deals one less damage. That's awesome. And we can get Rage again. Rage might be one of my favorite new mutations I've seen so far. I really like the idea of uh, if you don't get hit, you get stacking fire rate and, uh, and drop bonuses. That's really cool. Especially for weapons like this that have slow fire rate. We just got to make sure we don't get hit. <laughs> Which is not exactly easy for me. But yeah, hopefully... Inverted Big Bandit. Hopefully we'll um, learn the uh the different weapon mods and stuff as we go here but the the game uh the mod story does have a wiki so ow pretty bad hit there uh modify weapon lightning now can we stack mods or does it just change it over it seems to have stacked it seems to have stacked and there you go that's the lightning every now and again did you just throw a bomb at me the hell big bandit and I guess we go with Rhino Skin as this character. It's a tried and true tactic. Unfortunately, we don't have a uh, screwdriver this time. Yeah, I'm liking this. I'm loving the idea of weapon mods. It's a bit of an interesting idea, really, because Nuclear Throne, at least normally, almost always, should I say, not, not every single run, it's very much built upon the fact of constantly out trading out your weaponry. You never really stick with the same thing, so... It's a very different style of play to have it uh, have it where you maybe take one weapon and build up on that one weapon. Can you? The assassins are smarter. I don't know if that's part of the mod or if that's just that dude being a little tricky, but that dude's smart. <laughs> that dude's real smart. Right, let's keep it going. See if we can get another win. Get this car out my way. I think they're smarter. I, I, they're moving in very sporadic ways. I think there is a lot of, like, vanilla gameplay changes as well as the modded content in this, too. And we've seen that already with, like, the crown vaults and stuff being a bit different. So, let's break that now. I love that. The fact that you can freeze enemies, that's so cool. The lance. Let's take the lance. Ooh, that's a very long range melee. That's quite fast firing too. Okay, I like that a lot. That's very useful. Obviously it's a cursed weapon, so we might have that with us for a little while. 
We'll take the Alkaline Saliva again. That was also very good in the last uh, last area. Last run, sorry. Ooh, I like this. Ow. Splinter Bomb. Cool. I like it. Okay, let's try and kill this guy because we can so we can get that health. Trembo's got shielding. I never really used the abilities of characters all that much in this game, and it's a it's a weakness of mine, most certainly. Nice one. The animation from dying is a bit different. I'm not quite sure what it is that's different about it. Heavy crossbow? I think we need a heavy crossbow. Nah, we're good. I see you over there, birdie. Have you seriously just gone back over to the... I will hit you through the wall. Trust me, I will. Do not step to me, son. Random area, game mode unlock. Ooh, what the hell? This is... Oh, we've got a cursed weapon. I always forget that going to this area with a cursed weapon brings you to the cursed version of it. Isn't this version of the area much harder as well? I haven't been to this area in a long while, so... Forgive me if I uh, take a bit of dumb damage here. Are these, guys, are these guys duplicating? What the hell? Like I said, it's been a while. Oh my god, they just keep duplicating. How do I stop it? I do not know. Triple blood gun. Whoa. I like this. I don't know how strong this is against these guys, but it seems to be doing reasonably well. <laughs> oh, this is satisfying. The dead glove. Whoa, what the hell? The big Kraken gun. Oh, ho, ho, ho. A Kraken gun, you say? Whoa! What the hell? It, like, sucked the enemy towards me as I fired it. The power craver. Every okay. Let's let's go with the the random mod thing. That seems interesting. I like the idea behind that. My God! One second. One second. Right. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. I am excited. That dead glove seems kind of interesting. I don't know what to think of this thing yet. This big kraken gun. Oh my lord! It seems strong, but it pulls the enemy towards me, which really I don't know scares the living hell out of me. It pulls cards towards you. Okay, let's uh, not ever fire at a car ever again. Okay, let's just not fire at any weapon, at any enemy that has any level of explosiveness about them. Also, this thing burns the ammo. Goddamn. Normal old laser pistol there. Well, maybe I'll grab the laser pistol actually, because um, it's gonna come with a random mod in it, right? Yeah, there they go. It's got it's got like a, a random mod on it. And it seems to be explosive shot, or at least some level of explosive shot. I'm not quite sure what sort of, maybe that's blood explosion. Auto shotty. Do you know what auto shotty with what looks to be, it's already got full auto, so I'm not sure what the modifier is doing exactly. If I was to guess, that looks like it's maybe fire rate or projectile speed. Based on the icon that we're getting. Either way, this is a good gun. Get gone. Goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Okay, where we go? I love auto shotty. Auto shot is beautiful. Anything more down here? Oh god. I have reached an alleyway with this fucker. I don't know how much damage I'm doing with this gun right now. Okay. Ah, we got Oh my lord. He, he almost exploded on me. Almost exploded on me. Did he die? Or did he teleport? Oh no, it's not. It's only the, the big dudes that teleport, right? 
the later ones. Plasma Rifle. This has a health and ammo symbol, which I'd assume means kills with it have a higher chance of dropping health and ammo. That would make sense to me. Or maybe... No, I guess it costs less ammo to fire, but that doesn't make sense, because why would the health thing be there? Intriguing. Right, one moment. Sorry I keep pausing. I'm talking to the developer of this mod. Let's go. Let's go. So this area... Do we want to be using this thing? I think so, because it pierces right. But also, this thing has all the heft to it. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Gatling Slugger. I think Gatling Slugger is going to be good for us here. Also, this has like a... Oh, a redirected little needle shot comes out of this thing. Missile launcher. Oh, that's so cool. Holy hell. There is some incredible weaponry in this mod. I think as well, another thing that's going to be nice about playing with this mod rather than the mods we normally use is normally we use a bunch of different guns from a bunch of different packs and a bunch of different enemies from a bunch of different packs and all sorts of things. So nothing's really quite... Not, not, nothing's very cohesive. They're all... All the theming and stuff is different. And there's some weapons that are like pretty much duplicates of each other. Whereas now we're playing with just one big mod that's made by the same people. It's all going to be very cohesive. Going to flow very well together. I think it's going to be a much more... Uh, Interesting experience for us. Here we go. And I think scarier face is just going to be great here. Okay, we're onto big machine. We got a beam shotgun here. Oh my god. Please remember that I can shield. I keep forgetting, and it's annoying the hell out of me. So th this area is just like a one-and-done boss fight, re really, isn't it? Got a beam shotgun here. We'll try that out. The music's pretty funky. So it seems like this area is a consistent area that we're going to be going to. I like that. We don't have as much AoE as we had last time we were here, though. Which certainly makes things a little harder. I am just spamming the hell out of this thing. <laughs> Not gained any shotgun ammo yet. Oh no, there you go, we have. Whoa. Beam shotgun? Pretty interesting. Seems pretty good. <laughs> Sword gun. Oh! <laughs> Look how cool that is. Oh, that's incredible. I'm, I'm in love with this absolutely in love with this. We've got a bouncer plasma. This guy tries some dodges. I'm just going to fire a bunch of these down over that way. Sword gun. My beloved. Okay, we got the dragon come up in a sec as well. I'm loving the fact that there's new bosses, like new areas and new bosses. And they're, they're pretty short areas too. I don't know how... I just want to say I don't know how much damage this thing's doing. Evidently, a lot. Um, For standing in lava. Oh, we can take this now. We can definitely take that now. We've got a lot of health. Spiral slashing shotgun. I think sword... Um, sword thing's really good. I don't know if we're getting, like bonus damage from this sort like it might be a lot better because of the random modifier we managed to get on it i don't know what the modifier does so i'll be honest i don't know how impactful it's being but we it could be that this thing's like 10 times stronger because we've got a really good mod modifier on it bullet wall <laughs> this is fucking awesome the coolest shit i've ever seen this is so good Nothing against the other mods I've played with, but there's nothing like playing a mod, like a new mod, a new really high quality mod for the first time. Nothing competes. Just the absolute wonder and 
Oh, it's just beautiful. The morph hammer. Excuse me, what the fuck was that you just threw? Is this dude in a wheelchair? <laughs> the heck? I think he was on a Segway more than a wheelchair, but I'm gonna... I, th I think it's funnier if he's on a wheelchair. <laughs> uh, kills lower your reload time is always fantastic, so we'll take that. Right. We got a bullet modifier last time we were in here. Yes, we do indeed again. Modify with morph or projectile speed. Let's go with morph. I love this. This is just incredible. Who the fuck's this? Your Cheshire Cat as a boss. That's cool. <laughs> Golden laser pistol. Unlocked for crystal. All oh, right, wait. We don't even need to pick it up, do we? Apparently not. Don't know how we're gonna fare against the boss. Fat revolver. I like went some knocked over chair there. Okay, we're going to have to unfortunately take the fat revolver over our uh, other gun there. Ooh, fat revolver's good. I've got to say, and also it's, it's come with a freezing bullet modifier, which I very much like. Honestly, fat revolver is insane. <laughs> this thing is thick. This boy chonky. This boy hella chonky. We've almost got enough for uh, our max level mute, which I'm excited for because there's two new ones, two new max levels. Golden Grenade Rifle. Do I get to pick which one I choose, or, or is it just random? That's kind of an interesting way of doing it, though, because it means that your golden weapon isn't permanent. It's going to change each time you find a new one, if that's the way I'm thinking it works. Look at the little Segway boys. Wheelchair fellas, as I'm going to call them from now on. We're definitely in a bad, bad way for ammo. <laughs> right, so we've got the regular plus 6 HP. Move while shielded. Shorter shield, shoot while shielded. Reflected projectiles, Herman on enemies, push away enemies harder, take no laser damage while shielded. I'll definitely take that. Golden flamethrower, there you go. So ammo is definitely going to be of concern. But let's push forward. Anything going on? No. Yeah, just make sure we're shielding whenever we can to block shots and hopefully grab ammo. Unfortunately, it doesn't reflect these there, uh, so we're not going to get any extra damage out of them. But yeah, we are going to have to be pretty patient here because we have no ammo. I'm hoping, with the weaponry we've got, we can kill this dude quite fast, but it depends how quickly he gives us ammo, doesn't it? Going pretty well, though. I'm really enjoying just slip slapping him with everything we've got every time he gives us stuff. There we go. We killed him. Let's get out of the way of the explosion this time. And then see if there's anything new going on here. Because there's no... Okay, so loops are automatic now. There's no choice whether you loop or not. Which I like. I always like to loop anyway. So I'm glad we don't have to destroy the stupid thingies anymore. I don't know if that's going to be an unlockable later or if that's going to be permanently like this. But I like it like this. Oh, we're all out of ammo again. We might die pretty much straight away here. Because I'm just really fucked for ammo all the time. Big missile launcher. Mm, I like that. That is indeed a big missile launcher.
the Infinity Slugger. It's literally got infinite ammo. Hell yeah. Comes with explosive shot as well, I think. Yeah, it does. Infinity Slugger? Seems good to me. <laughs> I'm guessing loop weapons can be infinite now. Okay, our sword gun is incredible. I am absolutely in love with it. It does burn through ammo, though. Whoa! I like that little indicator now for that, that's cool. Can you stop trying to slice and dice me? I've had enough of your... your shit. The vault is here. Come out and play. Right, we're into a loop area now, so there should be enemies in here, right? Maybe not. There is another uh, area down this way, though. Take the challenge. Of course I have to. There's a big bandit in here. Okay. I, w I, w I was just about to say, is it going to be even more enemy spawning? Most certainly, yes it is. Remember, if we run out of ammo on this thing, we have infinite ammo in our backlog. Now there's turtles. Some of me's. This is... One of the coolest things I've ever seen in my life. This is the, like the the modded experience. This is everything I've ever wanted. All I've ever wanted was just to see me smiling. And now I am smiling. Very hugely. We unlocked chicken for opening a big HP chest. Is that how you unlock chicken? Apparently so. Okay, things are getting a little, uh... Yeah, I was gonna say, things are getting a little touchy now. I don't know with this area, is this just a, like, leave when you want? Because that door still seemed to be open. It might just be a leave once you've had enough sort of thing. Either way, hell of a lot of fun. Very well played. Hope you guys enjoyed. We made it to a loop for the first time. We'll go back to the menu and just see if we've unlocked anything new, which we probably have. Um, we unlocked... Let's uh, get rid of all the. Oh wait, we still have. I think we only get the we only remove the thing once we play it as them. Either way, pretty awesome stuff. Very happy, and we've got. It says, oh, okay. So let's just go over here. No way! You just get to pick. That's awesome. Oh, there's like new skins too. I unlocked one for this guy. I'm, I'm in love. I'm going to be recording so much of this shit. And we got whatever this is. Golden weapon here. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Absolutely fantastic. Amazing mod. Please go and download it. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.